Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel, Kalanadi. Today I am reviewing A Long Day in Litchford by Paul Cornell. This is the third and latest novella in his Litchford series, which comes out from Tor.com, and A Long Day in Litchford is coming out on October 10th. I haven't done video reviews for the first two in this series, but I have done a written review for the very first one, The Witches of Litchford, and I will link that down below in case you are completely new to the series and you want to start there. The Litchford series is, in brief, about three rural witches, Judith, Autumn, and Lizzie, who live in a small English town called Litchford. And Litchford is a place where all these magical boundaries come together and have to be tended. The setting is also contemporary modern-day Britain, which I find to be quite interesting. I'm usually not so interested in modern-day, perhaps urban uh, fantasy, but this one really works for me, and the contemporary setting really shows in this one because of the politics. A long day in Litchford kicks off when Autumn, one of the younger Litchford witches, wakes up groggy and hungover one morning, unsure what happened the previous evening. It probably involved a lot of alcohol because she doesn't remember anything. Whatever Autumn did the previous night, she has completely screwed up the boundaries around Litchford, and fragments of the area are cut off in different times and places, and people are missing and trapped. So Autumn, Lizzie, and Judith have to solve this problem, all the while tensions between Autumn and Judith are at an all-time high because politics, but also Judith is never easy to get along with. I think what makes this novella most interesting, a standout feature from the two previous ones, is that it directly confronts how Autumn feels as the only person of color in Litchford in a, an explicitly post-Brexit and Trumpian world. You know, her situation has never been easy as, as the only person of color in that community, which is so very white. Uh, she's had to deal with that casual prejudice from the good old boys down in the pub every day. But now she's asking those uncomfortable questions like, which way did my friends and my neighbors vote? She kind of wants to know who voted to reject outsiders and foreigners and people who are different from us, and who wants to build that wall between us and them. Perhaps I feel that this is such a key element of the novella because of the timing. This is the first piece of fiction I've read that incorporates Brexit and Trump and the state of politics worldwide today, so it's, it's going to jump out at me. I, I also think it's necessary, it's, it's really good to see Autumn grappling with these questions and fears that is are so true to life because people are feeling this way right now. It's it's pretty raw in some ways, and I think that um, Autumn's feelings, her situation as a woman of color, and those confrontations she has with other characters like like Judith are also true to life and pretty sensitively and well done. All in all, I enjoyed this novella, though I have to say that it felt more like a setup story than a self-contained standalone, which is quite different from the first two novellas in the series, which I thought were really self-contained stories and didn't leave a lot of threads dangling like this one did. So I think there's a shift in the story arc structure here that's knocked me off balance just a little bit, but it was still enjoyable, and I expect the next novella is going to be much more explosive and a lot more um, tangled stuff to figure out, so I'm really looking forward to that. So that is it for my review of A Long Day in Litchford. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have read this novella or some of the stories in this series, please let me know and comment down below with your thoughts and I will be back to talk to you again in my next video, and until then, bye!